So the last thing I tell you, how does a prophet navigate in a world that is treacherous, knowing that he also is limited by the things that are hidden from his sight in the spirit? What does God do for the prophet? God will install the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom becomes a guiding compass in the judgment of the prophet when there is no vision. That's why many prophets are broke because where there is no vision they cannot judge rightly with wisdom you don't receive vision for your finances at least receive wisdom how to make intelligent financial decisions so that you don't have an anointing and yet you are dying of poverty wisdom is what God gives to the prophet to keep him when visions are not available because trust me visions will not tell you where to what to wear visions will not yeah, sometimes god can give instruction but i say you you don't live your life perpetually on visions okay the angel will appear and say, okay no it's wisdom that builds a man so as a prophetic minister we must as prophetic ministers sorry we must pray perpetually for the wisdom of god because one thing the wisdom of God will give you is ability to judge, discernment. In this, at this point of your life, how do you expand the scope of what God is doing with your life? How do you govern your family? This was why prophets in those days, even though they had mighty ministries, they failed seemingly in their household. Because you can have visions and yet don't know how to raise children. When the Bible says, if any man lacks wisdom, he's not, he was not speaking to sinners. The Bible was speaking to those who were supposedly full of the Spirit of God, yet they lacked wisdom. See, Acts, there's a wisdom for finances. There's a wisdom for living. There's a wisdom for relationship. Your visions and your prophetic revelations will not help you in relationship. You can be a sharp seer, but a bad husband. A sharp prophetess, but a bad wife is wisdom that will help you build your home, not visions. Sharp prophet, but a bad fiance. Sharp prophetess, bad fiance. If someone is in a relationship with you, that person will, re will, will regret. They may even renounce Christ because of you, even though you have a sharp prophetic gift. Wisdom. Wisdom will get you out of poverty as a prophet. Sometimes it's not because the anointing is first to serve the church. It's wisdom that will build you. That's why I tell people the act of prayer alone does not make you grow in life and destiny. It is the wisdom you receive when you pray that will make you a millionaire. You can pray 700 prayer points and you will die of poverty. Poverty does not just respond to prayer. It responds to the wisdom that you receive when you pray. The act of prayer without divine wisdom for finances will lead the anointed into ruin. That's why a prophet died a debtor. Wisdom will teach you how to keep helpers, how to speak to helpers. Wisdom will teach you how to manage resources given to you. Wisdom will teach you what to invest in. That some people, they always think of the immediate. Whenever a breakthrough comes, the immediate. Why not lay structures that can serve you even in the seasons of drought? Wisdom. So that's what God furnishes in our heart. Especially in seasons where there is seemingly drought. He gives you the wisdom to build. By wisdom is a house built. By understanding is it established. In everything, wisdom is the word principal. The foundation of spiritual gift is the wisdom of God. The foundation of marital life, wisdom. The foundation of relationship, wisdom. The foundation of pastoral ministry, wisdom. Foundation of prophetic ministry, wisdom. How you do your ministry that is different from another will determine the impact we make. We are all about impact in the life of men. But wisdom will guide you. I can set up this prophetic ministry, our place of worship, in a very cheap way, and then I'll put money in my pocket. God will not tell you, 
put excellent things in the place. No, it's wisdom that will guide you. If you make your portion among the beggars, the be with the beggars you will stay. If you make your bed among the wise, with the wise you will dwell. You wear good suit, people attack you. You are poor, people attack you. Now the choice is yours. Would you enter heaven as Lazarus or Abraham? There are some people whose poverty has become a spirit offended by excellence. What check people that don't celebrate excellent things? Their mind is never excellent. Wisdom. This is what makes or breaks a man even though he is anointed of God. That's one thing I pray for when I'm in my room. When I get into strong challenges, ask anyone close to me. Wisdom, that's what I pray for. Ask the one to be my wife. If we're talking, I say wisdom. That's what I need. Pa, 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 wisdom. Lord, how do I don't say, oh, give me vision. No, how do I get out of here? How do I come out of here? Wisdom. To carry your phone and preach the word of God online is wisdom. Is wisdom to reach. I always tell people, anyone with a smartphone and is broke lacks wisdom. There are many things you can do with a smartphone that will take you out of poverty. It's not Yahoo. This is your intelligence. This is your skill. Why are you not bringing it to the right places? Angel will not tell you begin to make videos of encouragement. Listen! People don't give to needs. They give to value. The Lord told me this more than five years ago. If people give to needs, why is it that when you meet the beggar on the street, you can't even give him 1,000 naira in your pocket? You look for the lowest denomination. Even though you know this person is poor. People will give to the value you give. The person that gave you a seed of 10,000 left you and gave another person a seed of 2 million. That person gave to value. If you add value, value will respond to you. But you cannot even begin to have, add value if you don't value yourself. What do you see in yourself? What do you see in yourself? Who do you say you are? You are waiting for people to call you. They will call you different things and your destiny will be confused. Who do you say you are? Ask anyone around me. I don't think small. When you are thinking 100 million, I'm thinking 1 trillion. I always tell my people, I say, you don't pay rent to think big. So keep thinking big. Walking with God does not stop you from growing in destiny. Walking with God does not stop you from being great. It only makes you great in accordance to God's operation. It is the joy of God when his servants prosper. It's the joy of God when his servants take territories for him. It's the joy of God. What do you invest in? When I had smartphone in those days, it was people I was praying for. Preaching, WhatsApp, preaching, praying, praying, preaching. My first, in fact, my phones that I got in those days, they are given to me by people I didn't know. I would pray on extra coup for strangers. I would pray and then numbers would come to my mind. I would just, for any number I get, I would just call the person, pray. And I met a lot of great people like that. Sometimes the wisdom you need for deliverance in poverty is to leave a location and go to another one. That's all you need. That's all you need. Just leave one location and move to another one. You've been delivered forever. When the Lord told me that influence will transfer world, I began to say, I say, if you have a smartphone, you're a Christian, begin to create content. Contents that will bless people. Content, become a content. You may not, you may be a student, create contents. Create, go on, on TikTok. Let God give you wisdom on what to say that will bless lives. What to say that, and build that influence. Build that influence. You, you can be a YouTube creator full of the Holy Spirit and full of dollars because YouTube will be paying you thousands of dollars. Why? 
you are imparting life using YouTube. Poverty is not spiritual stature. Yes. Riches is also not spiritual stature. Riches can be a weapon. It depends who is wielding it. To the pure, things are pure. If the righteous is on the throne, the people rejoice. Yes. I can be rich and have more stature than you, even though you are dining with the bread of sorrow. That's the truth. That's the truth. Sometimes the foundation of your father's house can speak to you and tell you that you have stature. Oh, those people that are rich, they don't pray like you. They don't know God like you. Come and sit with me. Then let's speak. You will discover that poverty can be a limitation. Poverty can be a limitation. A great limitation. How is it that your parents have you and they are still struggling? Listen, I take four years and dig into yourself. Go through the alignment that makes kings and come out a king. One well, of my friends, I can't say, I say, stop taking shortcuts. When I was coming up ministry, I didn't look for people to invite me. I didn't take invitations. I stayed inside there in my house. I think when I was 20 or 21 years old, I did my first crusade. First crusade. Case closed. I was not known by anybody yet. I was not popular. Yet I used the primary school and the last morning I littered everywhere with chairs. Close to 500 or 1,000 chairs. How many people came? 20. If you came to that place, you will see white chairs everywhere. Case closed. That was the program. But you see, that was a reflection of my mindset. At a young age, I did not think small. When I get into a place, I'm not thinking of what to collect from there. I'm thinking of what to add to that place. That's value. I'm not on the receiving side. No. There are many people I would have connected with the ministry. In fact, one of my friends told me to connect to one servant of God that is respected in Nigeria. We were in the same place together. I said, go and collect his phone number. I said, no, I will go and grow. Sometimes, the reason why you are not growing is that you are too quick to snap selfies with people that are ahead of you. Help your mind. Celebrate them. Don't take pictures. So that you won't deceive yourself that you are not in their level. Go and grow. And then meet them as a king. Not as a slave. That's why they are not picking your calls. You are taking pictures with people that will crop you out of the picture when they want to upload it. Go and grow. Ask any of my men here. One thing I will always tell you is grow. Grow. Stop saying people don't respect. Go and grow, my friend. Go and grow. Stay in that house without your phone and be building stature. Stature. Pray. If it does not work, pray again. If it does not work, pray again. But by all means, be growing. There are some times the king spirit, you, you it will make you see a celebrity, but you will ignore the celebrity. No, I don't take the shortcut to greatness. I told them, my friend, I will not collect his number. If I collect his number, I will perpetually be limited. Is it because Ben is a bad person? No. But you are trying to arrive too early. Now I have that person's number, but we talk as friends now. If I'd collected that person's number that time, he would have talked as someone that is superior. Do you understand? But I grew in my calling. And when we now met, we met as brethren. Go and grow. Ask anyone around me. I say, you think you know. Improve on what you think you know. Improve... Is that thing that will make you stand out? Improve on yourself. Listen to your message. Messages and say, okay, how can I, how can I improve, oh God? How can I improve? How can I better deliver these words? And then grow. Stop saying, oh, they don't believe me. Oh, things are not working for me. That's the excuse of a slave. There are two sets of people. Those with the slave spirit 
and those with the king spirit. Grow! And people will give to your value. I've met kings in Nigeria. Spoke the word of God and didn't collect anything. If you come around me, you will know that this young man has been helped by God. 